Y'all probably say, where exactly are you going with this? I see you really trying to take it there. Old school flow, chew you out. Ain't fair, Jordan Pears. Yo, what up, YouTube? It's your boy, Zai. You already know what time it is, man. I've been trying to drop these videos, but, you know, like I said, I'm dealing with uh, other things, you know, especially when it comes to family. But, you know, I'm going to just get on here and talk about something that I've been seeing on, on social media so far, especially when it comes to the whole YouTube and uh, prison genre and other genres that don't necessarily align with the prison genre, but people feel like they need to speak about it. And it's the whole race baiting thing. I see this a lot on social media, especially when it comes to, you know, Hispanics and blacks, like, which is funny because most of it is perpetuated by people. They ain't even black or Hispanic. But, you know, we're not going to dive too deep into that because at the end of the day, it's been said a million times and people will hear it from multiple sources and still will uh, be unable to get it because they, they're too blinded to see you know what's truly taking place and and that's not even to you know uh you know count out the fact that there are stupid individuals out here robbing iloteros and you know and at the end of the day they should they should be dealt with a you know accordingly i'm not going to get on here and try to push violence but you know when you do certain things you know there's consequence to your actions so you know certain things should take place but unfortunately not everybody wants to hold theirs accountable and this is not to put a slight towards anybody or, or to say one is weaker than the other but it's just some people uh just don't want to deal with certain situations especially if it doesn't involve them which in the scheme of things when it comes down to it it could involve them especially if something was to pop on a grand scale but you know leave it to a lot of individuals and they're ready for it supposedly but you know I'm glad that people think a certain way now that, that they don't just jump into situations blindly, you know, because back in the days, uh, things of this nature would have took place. People would have went at it. Uh, and at the end of the day, nobody would have came out the winner. It would just been a lot of people, you know, either unalive or hurt and, and in bad situations, probably in prison for the rest of their life. And, and, and when it comes down to it, that's why I don't really get on here and push for that type of uh, outcome, which it wouldn't make no sense doing it anyway because it would just put, you know, uh, my channel in a bad standing, especially when it comes to the whole YouTube thing. Or maybe it might actually boost it, but I'm not going to go there. And, that, and the whole reason I want to speak about these channels that are... Uh, uh, you know, on the race baiting thing is because a lot of it is started by people that, you know, they're started by people that are looking to cause chaos. They're looking to do whatever it takes in order to get views to their channel. And unfortunately, which it doesn't really matter. A lot of these people are not in standings that are good necessarily. So, you know, they say, you know how the, the old saying, misery loves company. And this is exactly what it is. A lot of these people are, are miserable and they need company. A lot of people that are no longer good, they want people to come to the side. And that reminds me, I forgot exactly what prison it was, but, you know, we're in the back. And then I guess it's a... a, a right next to a, a, a yard, you know what I mean, where they would do their, you know, little shop things, whatever, uh, and they would just be like, yeah, come over here, we're doing this, we're doing that, and then, you know, they would pretty much sell you a dream that's not necessarily a dream, it's really a nightmare, because at the end of the day, to do all that time or to be in good standings as far as, like, to be a stand-up individual, whether negative or positive, and in the end, to turn out to just be all bad, uh that's not really a dream that's a nightmare for especially for people that uh kind of uh embrace the fact that they've been a certain type of individual for a long time now excuse me my allergies once again but uh yeah i noticed that i see a lot of race baiting on social media you know whether mexicans are scared of blacks or blacks are scared of mexicans and then people making up these fictitious stories of what exactly took place in a lot of prisons and i'm just gonna break down uh that for you and just let you know like i said in the prior video we we didn't win every war like you know there's wars that we've went into with the numbers on our side but when it was all said and done there was a few of us that took more hits than others and it was noticeable because these people were you know on either unalived or on the verge of being unalived and it was just one of those situations and uh how's i say 
like I had to learn, you know, that that whole way of thinking of we're always going to come out on top because we got the numbers. I had to I had to put that on the sideline because at the end of the day, and I'm going to say it again, I like to say at the end of the day, it's just my catchphrase or whatever, uh, or one that I've adopted. We didn't win every war. You know, I've, I've, I've been on yards where we've went at it with absolutely every race, even each other. Uh, and we took losses. Some we had clear victories, but others we took losses and it was noticeable because, like I said, people either got unalive or they got hurt to the uh, so bad uh, that they were pretty much as if they were unalive. And that's all I'm really going to say on that. Like that whole stereotype of we won every war, we do this, we do that. And about people being scared. I'm going to be 100% honest. I've seen situations where people hit the gate and, and running away from individuals because they knew people were playing with knives. So, you know, when, you, when you're dealing with individuals that come, you know, for violence and you're not ready for it, you know, you're only... Uh, you can only do a few things. You can either run because you don't got a knife or you can stand and fight. And unfortunately, a lot of fools took off running. And that's not to downplay any particular race because I'm not going to even say who it was. But I've seen situations like that where they be up against the gate and don't really want to get the smoke because they're essentially getting poked up. And it's and it's one of those things you got to think about. It's like nobody really wants to get hit. You know what I mean? But, you know, and when you're... When you've been dealing uh, with certain individuals so long, as far as like you've been trained mentally, that it's probably going to come down to that. Like you're going to be in a situation to where you're probably going to get poked because you're constantly at war or you're constantly in, in melees, you're constantly doing this, you're constantly doing that. That's just, you know, uh, something that comes with the territory. And it's funny, a lot of people try to paint us in the light as if we have no scruples or we just do exactly what we told and we really don't have too much say. That's bull. And it's not like you have to take everything that's put on your plate. It, it just comes with the territory. If you, I'm just going to say this. If you go in there with the mindset that you're just going to go above and beyond and you're going to be that one to do everything and, and be the man, of course. People are going to, you're the first one they're going to get at. Okay, yeah, you're, you're that dude. You're, you're representing like that, you know. And it's not even hating. Some fools just like that. Like, oh, yeah, this is a solid homie. Let's see. You know, if it really is. And once they figure out it is what it is, you know, for a righteous, a righteous homie that really got your best interest at heart, he's going he gonna to put you to the side and, and only really want to, like, put you out there if it's just necessary. Other than that, but for the ones that just want to be crash test dummies that really ain't crash test dummies, they see through you. So they put you out there. Go ahead. Do your thing. You know, yeah, you, you're you going to go to the hole for a while, probably go to another prison and then, you know, whatever. Here, you want to be the crash out here. They, they, but that's like it is on the street. You, you got crash outs everywhere. But the point of the matter is, you know what I'm saying? Outside of that, it's like we we can we have our own minds. It's just like that whole individuality thing that works in certain settings. But in prison, it don't work. You want to be solo and do what you want? Yeah, that's cool in the scheme of things. But when you got 20 people coming at you, do you still want to have that individuality? Because it's a guarantee that on this side, everybody jumped. There's no if ands, or buts about it. If the homie's right there getting down with whoever, I don't care if I've been knowing you for years. The homie's getting down. I'm going to get over there. Because if I don't, there's consequence to the action. And that's not... And that's not being under pressure. That's just standing for something. It's like if you're going to rep something, rep it all the way. Don't have play with it. You knew when you came to jail exactly what it consisted of. Don't try to change up now. It's not about being, oh, yeah, they make you do this. It's not even like that, dude. Like I'm just going to say that I'm a, I'm, and I'm going to leave it there because that, that picture that people be painting, like we're just – Crash that dummy because we have to. No, there's homies that are just stupid in the brain that don't care and they just want to ice things. That's just the way they are. It's in their DNA, their makeup to go to war. You know what I'm saying? So it ain't got nothing to be with nothing else. There's a lot of homies that crash out without even being told what to do. They just do it because it's in them and you'll notice it and you'll run into them individuals that got real issues. So they crash out. They willing to go to the hole, willing to do pegadas. They're willing to 
rush the crowds. They wasn't to do that because it's something in them. They want to be that. It's something in them. They want to show you exactly what it consists of. Why this fool got loco or this fool psycho or this fool. Like, it's, they want to show you. So it's not about being under pressure. Some fools just don't care, dude. They Not everybody can rep the, the South. But there's fools that rep it. <laughs> And sometimes they get crossed up and sometimes they don't, but they rep it anyways. Like we that's just us. You know what I mean? It's like fool say all the time, but look at I'm a testament to half that is bull. Look at I'm you see how I look and who I ran with. It's so <laughs> it never got thrown to the wolves because I wouldn't be here today speaking. After all them years in the cage, I wouldn't be here speaking. Like my homies have showed up every time. Like sometimes when they didn't have to show up, they were just like what these fools you know what i mean so i'm just gonna leave it there but i don't do the whole race baiting thing like it's no one stronger than the other yeah mentality wise there's a lot of a lot more southerners that strong mentally than a lot of other people outside of you know the other cats but it's because of structure that's been set up in us it's something that we, we've been instilled with since we've been getting ready for a certain position not as far as like you know but where we're going to end up anyway. So we're already getting prepared for that since juvenile hall. Other races didn't necessarily do that. They were still, oh, you know, this is my hood, this is my hood. Nah, we already know once you get to a certain point, it's going to be togetherness. You might not necessarily get along with this individual, but but at the end of the day, we got something to accomplish. And, and, and you know, numbers is greater than anything. Like I said, we didn't win it all, but it's still better to be one than it is to be individuals and just putting your life at just whatever you know what i mean so i don't know people can keep that you know we're individuals and that's cool it, it may maybe it work for you in some cases it doesn't and it doesn't mean that you got the numbers you're gonna you're gonna you know be all right it's just it's it's basically god's plan whatever happens happens and whatever don't don't i'm a testament to that like many situations i could have lost my life but i didn't i showed up i did what i needed to do and i got out that's how you know what i mean like it is what it is but yeah the whole race bait thing that's just this comical like nobody's the the thing that you people are trying to accomplish with the whole mexican versus black like even with the iloteros and all this other the, it's still not breaking nothing because there's still people that know that it's only certain individuals that are doing this stupid stuff you got some people that are hot and upset but they still believe in certain things going a certain way they don't want to necessarily just fall to like everybody else believes they're all bad because if that's the case, then we would say the same thing about other people. It's just what it is. It's just, but it, it's like if you got one fool that's a rapist of one race, and then you, because if we compare numbers, it would. I'm just gonna leave it like that. Like it, it's no even comparison to numbers, like in that category. So, but you can't say everybody's like that. You know, if that's the case, then you would be like politicians saying all these fools are. You know what I mean? It's like. You got to call the spade a spade, but uh, that's pretty much all I'm going to say on that, man. Don't be a race baiter. I see a lot of these fools pages doing the same exact thing. And at the end of the day, you may do it in order to give views, but more than likely, and not even more than likely, but what happens if it's just one of your family members getting caught up because of that situation that you sparked? Because I can guarantee you it's not a one-sided thing. It's not like... You know, something's going to kick off and then it's going to be uh, uh, overkill. No, it's not like that. Because Los Angeles is a boiling pot and a mixture of everything. And now it's you have a lot of raza that, that bang this. And then you got a lot of blacks that bang over here. And then you got a lot of whites that bang this and bang that. So it's like the numbers is the numbers. But uh, yeah, all I'm going to say, man, just cut that out. It don't make no sense. With that being said, I'm your boy Zod. And I'm going to go ahead and cut this video short. And... Sorry if I was rambling. I just got the shower. And I'm out. Kneel before Zod.